Hi there, I'm Dane and welcome to my channel where we explore everything software development. Today we're going to get some continuous integration and continuous testing going with our Cypress and Cucumber tests using GitHub Actions. So let's just jump straight in. So on the right here, I've got my Learn Cypress Cucumber repository, which we've been working through uh, previously and on the left I've got the code and what we're going to do today is set up github actions to execute all of our Cypress cucumber tests whenever we push to the repository so how do we do that well we're going to use this pre-made github action provided by Cypress and it will do most of the work for us so if we scroll down we can see we've got some examples and there's also some instructions for some custom customization that we can do which we're going to use because our repository is a little uh, different to some others we're going to start with this basic example here and we need to put this into a folder at the root of our project uh, called we create a new folder called dot github and inside the dot github folder we need to create a new folder called workflows and then inside that folder we'll create a new file and let's just call it basic.yml we're going to take this example so we'll just copy that code there and paste it in here make that a little bit bigger so everyone can see now we need to use some customizations for our specific repository um, if you don't remember, we've got the actual application code and our tests inside a subfolder called to do MVC TypeScript React. So we go inside there and then we can see we've got our Cypress folder with our tests and our JS folder with all the code and package lock, package JSON and all that sort of stuff. So we need to actually uh, move into this folder or get the GitHub action moving into this folder. Um, but before we do that, let's just walk through this YAML file so far and describe what's happening. So we've got a name for our workflow or for our action. This is going to be our end-to-end -end tests. Uh, the on uh, property is telling us when we're going to run this. And for now, we're just going to run it on every push to the repository. Then we have our jobs. So the one job that we're going to run is called Cypress Run. Runs on is the, I guess, the operating system image that we're going to run it on. So let's just leave it with the default basic one, uh, Ubuntu 20.04. And the next uh, property is the steps that are going to be contained within this action. So the first one is check out the code. And we're using a pre-made action called actions slash checkout. And this is provided, I believe, by, by GitHub. Um, and it's a simple app action that's just going to check out our code um, to the right uh, commit. The next thing we need to do is use our Cypress uh, GitHub action, which we can see here. It's going to be Cypress run. It's describing this Cypress action that we're looking at here. Cypress IO GitHub action version 2, which is the latest version. And what does that do? Well, that's going to install um, our npm dependencies and then run a Cypress command to run the tests. Now we need to tell it our working directory is actually in to do MVC TypeScript React. So the way that we can customize this command is we can uh, provide another key called with. And underneath the with, we can tell it the working directory that we want to work within. So that is just working dash directory. And you can find all of these settings on this uh, GitHub action readme file and the link to this and to any other resources will be in the description below. So we're going to say to do MVC dash TypeScript dash react. So this is the exact folder name within our repository. So that's our working directory. We also need to override uh, at least in our project, the install command. And we do that by 
providing a property called install command. By default, I believe the action uses npm ci, which will um, which will install the dependencies as per the lock file and only the production dependencies. Um, and if we look in our package JSON that we have here, we've got some dev dependencies like Cypress and our HTML reporter, TypeScript, etc. We need those dependencies available because we're going to actually build our application. So for now, we're going to make our install command just be npm install. We might revisit this and uh, maybe restructure our project to work a little bit more uh, as per the GitHub Actions uh, assumptions. But we'll do that at a later time. We also need to provide a special uh, build key, which is going to tell the GitHub Action how to build our local application. And the build command is npm run build as per our package JSON. And the last thing we need to do is actually tell the GitHub Action, the Cypress GitHub Action, to start our application um, after building. And so the command for that is npm start. So if we save that, we've got how our whole GitHub Action uh, defined here. Uh, and just going over it again, we're going to jump into this subfolder for the working directory. We're going to do npm install instead of the default command. We're going to do npm run build, which will compile our TypeScript to do MVC application. And we're going to start that application. Uh, that application runs on, if we remember, localhost 4200. Um, and our Cypress uh, configuration is already ready to point towards that. Um, and by default, the run command is all good to go in the GitHub action, so we don't need to customize that. So all we need to do now is push this change to GitHub. So we'll add the changes that we've made. We'll commit them um, with a message of add GitHub actions uh that's good enough and we'll push that to our main branch so let's go over to our repository here so this is the repository that we just pushed a change to to we hit refresh we will see add github action so that's the commit that we just pushed up also see this um yellow orange dot here uh, this is indicating that a GitHub action or a, an integration is running on this commit. We can also click actions up here. So if we click that, we'll see that the commit that we just pushed up, add GitHub actions, is there. And the end-to-end -end tests are running. Well, let's go into that. Uh, we can see the basic YAML file that's uh, being configured in this, uh, in this commit. We can click into that. There's our file. We can go into the specific job. So if we go back to summary, we can go into the specific job that's currently running. And we can see that the setup job step has run in three seconds. Checkout has run in less than one second. And it's now running the, uh, the Cypress run step. And we can see things are happening now. We can't get to all the logs as it's currently running, but you can see that Cypress is currently running and the tests are passing. Um, we can also see that videos are being created for this. Now, one thing while this is still running, and it'll take a couple of minutes to run all the tests for us, one thing we might want to do in the future, and we're going to have a future video for this, is um, take the stuff that we've done in a previous video, and I'll, uh, I'll provide a link to that previous video of creating a, um, a nice pretty report from our Cucumber tests. But we'll take that report and we will attach it um, so that myself or anyone who uses this repository can actually check the report um, online as part of this 
um, integration. And so we'll have our tests running every time we push. We'll get a report at the end to see which ones are passing, which ones are failing. And uh, we can inspect any ones that fail and, and then go and fix them. Um, additionally, in the future, we'll probably have a video that shows us how to attach those um, videos to those reports. So if a test is failing, we can actually watch the video in line. Um, so Cypress Run is completed. So if we um, go through this, we'll scroll down and we can see that it's done the NPM install that we asked for. It has done the com compilation or build step command that we asked for. And it started the server using npm start, serving, and then it started running our tests. And all the tests, we go all the way to the bottom. Do, do, do. Um, all the tests have passed. And if we just have a look over here, all specs passed. There we go. So that is adding uh, GitHub Actions Continuous Integration and Continuous Testing to our Cypress and Cucumber tests. If you need any of the links to the resources, they'll be in the description. I'll link to this repository. I'll link to the GitHub Action and to any other important info. Other than that, Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Um, or you can check me out on Twitter at twitter.com slash daneharnett. Additionally, I do some live streams on Twitch multiple times per week at twitch.tv slash daneharnett. The link for that will be in the description. And you can come and hang out with me. We can build some cool, fun, interesting stuff in new technologies. Um, and if you have any questions, please put them in the comments uh, section below or come and hang out on Twitch and ask them live and I'll try and give you as much info as I can. So once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.